Hi guys, it's Matthew here from the LG Pharrell Gaming Network. And so recently, Kerbal uh, have released patch 0 0.24, which includes a career mode. Now if you take a look at this here, we've got a sandbox mode still, a career mode still, but interestingly we've got a science mode still. Now, what they've incru included in this patch is a um, contracts portion where they basically give you a budget to run your entire um, space agency. So what I'm going to show you today, if any of you are struggling with it at all, is how to begin your career in this mode and uh, what you can do to overcome some of the early contracts that you get, especially if you're not very um, experienced in shipbuilding. Now what you want to do in, in contracts mode or career mode with the new contracts is to go to this little building here and this is where it shows you um, the new contracts you've got available you've got active archives available so what we can see here is you've got a launch new vessel um, mission and basically it's got a load of writing there it gives you a trivial amount of prestige but it also gives you an advance in money now I don't know what the money's called but for simplicity's sake we'll call it dollars and you need a certain amount of dollars in order to launch missions. So what we're going to do in this first video of my uh, tutorial series is show you how to accomplish a few of the contracts and get underway with research and such. So here we go. We got we get an advance here of 1,835. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. All we have to do is launch a new vessel. That's that's not difficult. Just need to launch a spaceship with this other contract you want to set an altitude record of 5,000 meters so basically you just need to get your rocket to 5,000 meters that's not too difficult so we're gonna go ahead and accept that also so you can accomplish two of these missions in one go so let's go ahead and go into the rocket building section now because it's career mode you've got very little um, very few things you can use um, just for those who are interested, I'm using Kerbal Engineer Redux, which has recently been updated to uh, version 0 0.25, I believe. And that gives you a little computer which tells you how far your rocket will go. And I'll show you how that works. So first of all, because we haven't got many parts, we get a command pod. Unfortunately, these are going to be manned missions, so be careful with your Kerbins. Now, the next section for your ship is a fuel tank. So you want an FL T200 fuel tank. This is how I do it anyway. Put two, three of those on there. And a liquid fuel engine. In fact, for this mission, we don't even need three of those. I'm thinking ahead, excuse me. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. That's gonna cost, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, we got our budget. We got 12,293 available dollars. And launching this ship is gonna cost 2,300 in its current state. Now, I'm going to put a parachute on here because I don't want my little Kerbinaut to die. Put one of these ER7500 computer flight units on it, which is available because I've installed the Kerbal Engineer Redux. I'll post a link of where to get that in the description box. Okay, just mess around with the staging in the bottom right hand corner. This basically tells us that the first part of our ship, our, our launch, will activate this engine and burn up to the sky. The next stage, after we press the space bar, will activate the parachute. Now, because we've got this onboard computer, it tells us the delta V we're going to experience, as well as a lot of other stuff, but the delta V we're going to experience from our rocket. And that's 2,173 meters per second. That's the speed we can reach with this rocket. Um, that's enough explanation for now, I think. Um, we're going to go ahead and launch this bad boy. But first, we've got to give it a name. Let's give it first contracts all right we'll save that and we'll go to the launch sequence now we've got nothing to stabilize this ship no communication very little but we have got a Kerbinaut on board and if you if you're familiar at all with the career section in Kerbal Space Program you'll know that you can gather science data and beam it back so here we're gonna get 1.5 science just from a crew report and that's it we'll keep the data as long as he survives we'll receive that into our research thing. All right, so let's give it a little countdown and we'll be taking off shortly. In the top right hand corner here, you can see what we need to do in order to meet our objectives for this contract. And it just says launch a new vessel and achieve an altitude of 5,000. That's two contracts in one. 
and we're going to go ahead and give a countdown now. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. We have liftoff. Now, this is easily going to achieve what we need. As you can see, it's got a little tick next to launch a new vessel. The earliest mission, uh, contract you can do. Very simple. We need to get up to 5,000 meters, which should be attainable, no problem. We're at uh, 3,500 right now. Now my rocket's going out of control a little bit. We've got nothing to stabilize it unless we press T, like so. And as you can see, we've achieved our mission. So I'm going to cut off the burner. We don't need to burn any further than necessary. And basically what's going to happen now is we're going to start plummeting towards the ground. I'm just going to activate my parachute and hopefully land safely. All right, let's see how far up our apoapsis is going to be. All right, it's plummeting now. This is good. Okay. Will we land in the water, though? We will if I do that. Nice. All right, cool. So now I'm going to activate my parachute. And at 500 meters, it will um, open and our speed will drastically reduce, such as that. 10.8 meters per second. Now, basically, we've achieved our mission. That's all we need to do. Cheap little rocket. Our little Kerbal is safe. Um, in fact, I need to slow down the game engine here. What I'm going to do now is get a little bit more science. Do an EVA on him. EVA report. 3.2 data. Take surface sample. Another 12 science data. And we'll get back in the rocket. Turn it the right way up because I'm a bit anal like that. And... Our mission will be over. There we go. Space Center. Here we come. Now, this, because we've completed those first two contracts, we'll have a little bit more money in our bank. There we go. $15,952. Our reputation is increased. And that's pretty much it for the first, uh, the first contracts. Now, if I just carry on a little bit and see what other contracts are available. Um... If you want to play, if you want to play along, leave any comments at this stage. Let me know if I'm doing fine on the video. That'd be great. But an interesting uh, contract I've noticed here is set altitude record of 11,000 meters. Now that's not too difficult because just now we reached approximately 11,000, give or take. Uh, we can also test the MK-16 parachute in flight over curving. Now the these all these contracts have a number of stipulations in order to meet the actual contract because you are getting paid by an external agency uh, and so on and so forth so basically here it says test mark 16 parachute incomplete and Kerbin incomplete flying incomplete at the altitude it desires and the speed it desires now I'm sure we can achieve that in our next mission so let's go ahead and accept that contract now we're gonna close that go back to building our rocket and we will basically see if this rocket is good enough to um, is good enough to uh, complete the contract. Now I'm not quite sure if it is or not, so I'm just going to go ahead and test it anyway. Let's go to launch. We've got everything we need, I believe. Uh, the only uh, issue may be that we don't have enough fuel. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can do this. Now, if we do this, this will be the first four contracts completed. All right, press T to set up your SAS. Press space. Click up top here so we can see if we've met our objectives or not. Now we're going to have to be careful because the altitude is uh, 16,400 to 18,300 meters that we need to uh, test our um, parachute at. Now, I'm not like I said, I'm not quite sure if this is going to reach that high. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, it's due to get to 16,000 meters. Nice. All right, cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the throttle now. As long as our speed remains above 70 meters per second, we can uh, achieve this objective. So very soon I'm going to open the parachute once we get 16,400 meters. Let's see how high we're going to be now. Oh, we're not high enough. Ah, turn on the rockets. See if we're going to get there now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to achieve that one at this point. Maybe we need a bigger rocket. Or we could have kept the burner on. You know what? We've achieved one. Let's go ahead. Press escape. Press revert flight. Revert to launch. And complete both in one mission. That's what I want to do. 
Now, guys, I'm really interested to hear how you are getting on with uh, Kerbal Space Program, especially in this new 0.24 build. Uh, you know, I want to know what missions you're up to, which contracts you've completed, which you found hard, which you found easy. I just want to build an engaging channel for you guys to join me in. So hopefully we can have a, a good discussion on my YouTube videos pages or email me at www.lolplayers. That's P-L-A-Y-A-S at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to speak to you all. By no means am I an expert at this game. I just enjoy the game and want to help out some people who are struggling. Um, my girlfriend is currently playing the game, but she's very inexperienced, and so I'm helping her. So these videos are a way of helping her, but also to help out the wider audience. So hopefully you guys will appreciate that. All right, let's see how high we're going to get now. Will we achieve our objective? I don't think so, but you never know. Probably need a bit more fuel. All right, no problem. Probably not going to get much higher than this. 16,400. It may do, but I don't think so. Let's see. Speed up time a little bit. See if we get there. Going to 16,000 meters. Yeah, oh, we just got to 16,000 nearly. All right, cool. So basically, we passed one part of the mission anyway. We've got to 11,000 meters for our next part of the uh, contract. I think we're going to have to put another fuel tank on. Not an issue at all. Let's just speed up time so we get closer to the ground before we open up our parachute. We don't want Bill to die. You can see him down there. He's looking a bit scared. Don't worry, Bill. You're going to be fine. Now, I'll tell your kids uh, you're a hero if you die. You know, don't worry about it. Okay. Can we do a quick crew report? Yeah, we can. All right, cool. All right, let's open up our parachute. As I said, Bill, I'll do everything in my power to save you. Do not panic. There we go. We're coming down to the ground. I envisage a mini explosion here, approaching at 10 meters per second, but let's see. Come on, you can survive this, Bill. Ah, boom. Yeah, Bill survived. So that's that. We've achieved another contract. That's how easy it is. Now that next contract, as I said, I'm just going to build a, 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 you know, further fuel on it. Um, another fuel section that will achieve that. So it's really simple to get off the ground. Um, I'm actually going to bring out some videos regarding um, micro engineering with rovers and little tiny rockets. Show you how small a rocket and how little fuel you actually need to get to orbit. So hopefully you'll enjoy them when I bring them out. Um, all right, let's press T to get our SAS engaged. All right, let's go. And let's not forget, we need to get an altitude of 16,400 meters between 16,400 and 18,300 with a speed of 70 to 370 meters per second. Now, I'm pretty sure this rocket will do that. You can see some debris over there. First contracts. That's the guy we need to rescue, actually. Then we'll get some science data from him also. All right. Hopefully, we're going to get to the right height. So over here on the flight engineer computer readout, on the right, you can see our apoapsis height. This will be the peak at which our flight will get to. Uh, it's giving us a reading of around 22,000 and climbing meters. Now, that's really helpful to know because that can tell you, you know, when you're going to need to, um, when you're going to need to slow down uh, your rocket in order to reserve fuel for attaining an orbit and so on and so forth. So, it's currently telling me I'm going to reach 30,000 meters. Because we're not in orbit and gravity of Kerbin is still taking effect on our ship, our rocket is slowing down. The surface speed is reducing, as you can see in the center console there. So um, the apoapsis height is consequently lowering as well. Um, that's just the effects of gravity, which is not being counteracted by our, our, our fuel, I mean our rocket burn. So let's just speed up time. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the speed and uh, altitude we require. Don't forget, between 16,400 and 18,300. I believe we can do this, but also we need to be careful of our speed here. We're going very fast. Yeah, should be all right. Let's get to the desired height. Let's get to the desired speed. And there we go. Now we can open our rocket. Hey, what's going on here? Hopefully this will tell me. Hey, it hasn't said we completed it. 
Well, that's a pain in the butt, because I did it. Oh, well, no problem. Now, as we plummet to the ground, we can think about what we did wrong. Now, I think I just didn't activate the parachute in time. That's all I can think about. Um, not too much of an issue. It's all part of the game. Bob, again, please don't look so worried. You're going to be fine. My rocket may not be fine, but let's see. Yay, down to the surface we go. Uh oh, we're gonna land in HQ. Cool, that's actually pretty neat being able to look around here. Yay. And you can drive around here with your rovers and stuff, which is pretty neat. I'll show you that in the micro engineering video I was talking about. There we go. Another survival. Crew report. What happened, Jeb? I mean, Bob. <laughs> I don't know, sir. Alright. So before we attempt that mission again, or that contract again, let's just go and take a look at the ships we have that we need to recover. So we click on that building there. Splash down. So you click on one of these tracked objects, press the recover button, and you can see we've got 21.7 science earned on this mission, which is cool. So we go ahead and press next. We've got money added from recovered parts. We've got a total reputation of 71 now. Jebediah was recovered, yay! All right, let's recover this one. We got another 4.3 science, and another load of money recovered, plus another 25 reputation. Good job, Bill. All right, and here's the last ship we need to recover. From that, we got 1.6 science, plus we recovered 2,483.6 dollars. And Bob, you're a national hero. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and try and uh, complete this mission again. Um, it's really not that difficult. You just need to pay attention to the details uh, in the top right hand corner when you click on the little contracts thing. Uh, the contract objectives uh, piece of paper. So let's go ahead and try to do this again. Okay. Launchy launches. Okay, Bob. Can you do it this time, bro? Can you? Take a look inside the cockpit. Oh. Pretty. All right, cool. So, what do we want? Actually, you know what? I don't even want to be flying that fast this time. Actually, I need to turn on my SAS. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to lower down the throttle on my rocket, just so I can have a bit more control over what's going to happen. Again, the apoapsis is high on this flight engineer display on the right here. It's showing us where we will get to, so that will give us an indication of it if we can reach the height we were, you know, needing to, to reach. Again, I'm going to reduce my throttle. Don't want it to go too fast. Just want it to get to the right height, and then I can deploy my parachute. And hopefully, it'll work this time. It's almost trolling me, people. Trolling me, I tell you. So the apoapsis height is reading that we'll get to the right height. So that's good. Our speed is good. It's within the boundaries. Now, I'm going to cut the throttle once we reach that altitude. And all should be well with the world. Here we go, we've done it. So, open a parachute. There we go, we get the big tick there. Test Mark 16 parachute complete. Alright, so all I need to do now, really, is uh, land this rocket uh, safely without killing Bob or the ship. Uh, and that will be the contract completed. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I really hope these videos are in some way beneficial or encourage you to buy the game anything like that you can have a lot of fun with this game which I'll be showing you in other videos uh, if you like the video please subscribe and uh, join our wonderful Kerbal community thanks for taking the time to watch it bye guys